Steve Fletcher here and welcome to the Everything Guide to Learning to Play Guitar. Before we get started, can I ask you please to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube page, really help me grow my online business. And if you've got a moment, just check out all my social media, there's Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, as well as my website. The links are all down there in the description. If you need a little friendly reminder of uh, everything that we've done so far in the Everything Guide to Learning to Play Guitar, then you can follow the link up there in the corner and it will take you to the playlist uh, for everything that we've been through. So we're starting a brand new section in this video. We're doing tabulature, combining the tabulature and the chords to get songs that sound that little bit more accurate to how they really, really are. All the sheets that accompany every one of these videos is available direct from me. If you head over to my website, the link is down there in the description. I think it's really important, the further down the road of the Everything Guide to Learning Guitar, the further down the road you go, the more important it is that you do get those sheets um, because you do need that visual accom accompaniment to go alongside what I'm saying. If you're a student of mine, either in school or uh, over Zoom, then you will get those sheets automatically. So if you're watching this video, then you should already have that sheet. If you're just watching me out there in internet land, then head over to my website where you can download those sheets. If you are still unfamiliar with what tabulature is, then you can find the dedicated learning how to read tabulature video right there in the corner. I definitely advise you to have a look at that one. So let's get to it. Okay, so what we're going to look at today is Atomic by Blondie. Um, it was originally released as a single, smash hit for the band in 1980, hit the number one position in the UK, broke top 10 in numerous countries all around the world, and you've since seen it in films and TV shows. I remember it being featured quite heavily in the train spotting film, not the train spotting film, in the film train spotting, um, which is brilliant. Now, there's a few little things you need to watch out for in this. Um, two little sort of bits of music theory that we're going to look at. The first one is what we call a pickup bar, or to give it its real name, an anacrusis. Um, this is where you have a bar or a little bit of playing before everything properly starts. Okay, so you might get a thing where you hear, you know, the drummer going one, two, three, four, boom, everyone starts. What you get with Atomic, and you'll see it more and more frequently, is something starts while the drummer is counting that in okay or while it's being counted in and this is one so you have that that's your main part of the riff uh, and that comes before so you get that one two and that fret two is where the song actually starts Boom. There. So that is what we call a pickup bar or an anacrusis, which is just something that takes you in to the rest of the song. Now, the other thing, the other little bit of music theory is the idea, and again, we'll sort of look at it here, where you see there is a repeat, but there is a number one and a number two over a couple of bars. That's because when we have a repeat that goes around but finishes differently, rather than doing this, you know, writing the whole thing out again is we just show that first bar um, and put the little number one over it. That's what you do first. Heads you into the repeat where you go back to the start, do the whole thing again. Then the second time around, you jump over bar one and go to bar two, which is where something will be a little bit different. And then that means you've also jumped over the repeat and back into the song. So you do the number one. So you play the whole riff, number one, repeat, play the whole riff, number two. Now when we did I Can't Get No Satisfaction by The Stones, there it is, we had this movement forward of the riff to frets two and four and it's the same thing with Atomic by Blondie is the fretted notes are fret two and fret four. We do have some open strings but that doesn't you know uh, make any difference to what fingers you're using. So finger number, so what I would do you could just like Satisfaction by the Stones, you could do finger two and finger four for those notes. But 
I would find it would get you a little bit sort of achy, a little bit painy. It doesn't feel as comfortable. So what I would generally suggest you do is finger one on fret two, finger three on fret four, and that's just your stronger fingers. And it's just a little bit easier to play. Chord wise, nothing too terrifying. E's, F sharp minor, G, D, and all that kind of stuff. Just watch out for the structure. There's a few little moments like in verse one, there's an extra repeat that isn't in the later verses and stuff, um, but nothing that you've not seen before and certainly nothing that's gonna keep you awake at night.
So thanks for watching. Please, please leave me some nice comments. Please check out all my social media, my uh, website down there in the description. Um, and we'll see you next time, boys and girls. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.